Redirecting to another page using PHP. How, why and best practices. Normally, a user requests a page by typing in a URL, clicking on a link or submitting a form. The server receives the request and sends back a response, for example, a page of HTML. Sometimes though, instead of replying with some content, the server replies with a message to tell the browser to request a different URL. This is known as a redirect. It's common to redirect to another page after inserting some data into a database or logging in, for example. To issue a redirect in PHP, we use the header function and we pass in a string that contains the URL of the page to redirect to. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have two files, page one and page two. Page one contains code that issues a redirect and page two just contains some HTML. If we go to page one in a browser, it simply redirects to page two. Here I'm redirecting to a relative URL, in other words, a URL that doesn't contain the host name. This works in modern browsers, but redirecting to a relative URL has only been part of the HTTP standard since 2014. So to be on the safe side, it's better to redirect to an absolute URL. In other words, one that contains the host name. You could hard code the full URL in the header function call, but it's easier to get the host name from the server like this. And this still works as before. One thing to be careful of is not to send any content before you call the header function. For the redirect to work, the HTTP header needs to be the first thing that the browser receives. This can be as simple as a blank line before the opening PHP tag like that. So if we try this again in a browser, we get an error. So make sure that the header function is called before anything else is written to the browser. Another thing you will want to do is exit the script as soon as you've redirected. Although not required, it's good practice as the script keeps executing even though you've sent the header, but the browser will never see the results of whatever comes after the redirection down here. So we'll add a call to exit after the header like that and in the browser it still works as before. One final thing that we can do is send a different HTTP status code depending on the type of redirection we're doing. For example temporary or permanent or which version of HTTP we're using and you can see the various options for redirect status codes here. By default, if we don't specify the status code, a 302 is sent. Using the Firebug browser plugin, we can see what's happening when we issue a redirect. If we open our page, we can see that a 302 redirect has occurred. Normally, this is OK, but when doing things like using the post redirect get pattern, for example, when redirecting to an order confirmation page after processing an order form submitted using the post method, we should really be using the 303 status code. We can specify the status code in the third argument to the header function. So let's add that to our function call like that. And now if we go to our page, we get the redirect 
with the 303 status code. So doing all this is the recommended way to redirect to another page using PHP.